Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Continuing our focus on the comments of the president. Is the judiciary really uh, impeding the fight against corruption? We've got uh, Mr. Oko Ebonobla, who is the special the SA to the president on uh, prosecution in the Federal Ministry of Justice. Let me ask you, Mr. Obla, I mean, when you blame judges uh, giving preference to senior lawyers and then judges not being firm, are you suggesting that if a lawyer finds a lacuna in the law to defend his client, he should just let it go in order for the judges to be firm? Well, uh, the lawyer has to do his work. If you are giving a brief as a lawyer, you have a duty under the law to ensure that um, you make, provide uh, your client with the best services, professional services. So, uh, but I do not think that uh, lawyers should exploit the law uh, to the extent that they will frustrate uh, uh, the administration of criminal justice because lawyers uh, uh, have a code of conduct. There's, uh, you are not supposed to behave in a certain manner. You are also a minister in the temple of justice. So in as much as you are defending the interests of your client, you must also protect the court and the interests of society. So that is not what we are, we are seeing. And that is uh, uh, the, the Nigerian Bar Association should take care of that. It is left for the Nigerian Bar Association to take care of that to ensure that lawyers respect the code of conduct. They also uh, 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 appreciate the, their work as ministers in the temple of justice. For instance, under the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, uh, the, the, the Act says you, both sides shall not be entitled for adjournments more than five times. But we, we still see lawyers uh, who have exhausted uh, this, uh, you know, their time of adjournments, uh, making, you know, strenuous, uh, bringing up strenuous applications for uh, adjournments. I've and, had at, at that level, I expect a judge uh, who is firm to, I mean, put that lawyer in his place, no matter his status, no matter his standing at the bar, no matter his years at the bar. Mr. Abla, have you had cause to complain to the MBA? We, we are doing that. We, we are compiling uh, names of lawyers who, have, uh, who, uh, who have, um, have this reputation for storing um, speedy, you know, uh, hearing of uh, criminal matters. We, for, for this, I've, I've just mentioned to you a matter uh, we are doing in the Federal High Court concerning a top-ranking uh, former member of, um, of the last administration. I mean, this lawyer has consistently shown uh, that he doesn't want this matter to go on. So no, you're hoping to report the yes, lawyer, or you've yes, reported even, the even lawyer last already? Time, last time it was so annoying that the judge warned him and said, look, I'm going to report you to the chief judge of the Federal High Court, and we are going to take it from there to make an example. Yeah. We are not saying lawyers uh, should not do their work, but yeah. they have to be responsible. But they have to like... behave as ministers in the temple of justice, and then also adhere to the code of conduct for legal practitioners. You know, but th that's the way it sounds right now. If you say you're compiling the names of those who are doing certain things, it sounds like, you know, when you're in a class, compiling the names of noisemakers. But, you know, the suggestions that uh, the SAI gave yesterday, when he says, look, if you've not been prosecuting for a while and then you're on the defense side, it's going to, always going to be difficult for you to switch to that side and expect to get 100% results. I mean, we have it in all professions. Here we have uh, anchors, we have producers, we have uh, videographers. They all don't combine all three jobs at the same time. Shouldn't the Attorney General be perhaps looking through what was said and see how do we exactly make sure that this job is done better and advise the President properly? <laughs> yeah, the Attorney General has, has, has always advised the President properly. He, he, uh, what I'm saying is that we do respect to Sheila Robert Clark. He, what he said made a lot of sense, but uh, it's not the gospel truth, and, and it is not practicable for now. I have told you the nature of our profession in Nigeria. Uh, in Nigeria, we have barristers and solic solicitors. When you are called to the bar, uh, you become a barrister and solicitor. In, in England, we have barristers, we have solicitors. So we do not have professional prosecutors, except you go to the Minister of Justice, like in the Federal Minister of Justice, I've mentioned the DPPF, and then the State Minister of Justice, you have DPP, you have an arm entrusted with responsibility for prosecution. But ordinarily, uh, lawyers who are in private practice, you do not have 
professional prosecutors or, pro, pro, you know, that is it, what, what I'm saying. But a lawyer who has been called to the bar, who has practiced for a number of years, it should be familiar with, uh, you know, uh, prosecution of cases. Mm, but some people say that it is... Yeah. That the executive is not exactly serious in terms of ensuring that the judiciary is really independent. Uh, they cite uh, the recent ruling by the uh, High Court judge, uh, uh, High Court, a uh, High Court in mm. Nigeria. Mm. Uh, you know, and reinforcing that the judiciary should be getting its monies in terms as first line charge. Yes, and that will also ensure the independence of the judiciary. Yes, uh, are you aware of that case? Well, are you? Uh, if uh, 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 this prof this administration. I can tell you that this administration, this administration has shown that uh, it, it has respect, absolute respect for all the branches of government. I am aware of that ruling. The federal government, even during the administration of a uh, former president, Jonathan, complied with that judgment. Immediately that judgment was given. The federal government has complied. It is the state government. Some of the state governments have not complied. For instance, in my own state, Crossover State, the uh, I mean, the judicial workers went to court, went, went on strike for more than six months because of the failure of the state government to comply with that ruling. And in Nasarawa, and most of the states, but the federal government has complied with that uh, ruling so, given by Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court. So as we speak currently, yes. the judiciary does get its money sure, as first sure. line charge? Completely. Now, if, if you go to the federal court system, you will know that uh, the federal government has invested so much. You have very beautiful courts. You know, go to the Supreme Court, go to the Federal High Court, go to the Industrial Court, go to the High Court of the uh, 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 FCT. The, lawyer, the judges are well motivated, they are well paid, and the courts, the courts are clean and good, you know. Uh, Mr. Obai, if, if I could jump in here, if you can hear me. It's for judges to sit and dispense justice, unlike the states. Mm. Chamberlain, over to you. Yeah, uh, Mr. Obai, just a quick one before we wrap up. I mean, I've got, uh, uh, well, he says it's Annie here. He says, the president engaged 12 SENs to defend him about the uh, certificate matter. So if you're suggesting that the judiciary is or if you agree with the president and then you say they are impeding the fight against corruption, isn't that a disservice because, I mean, people are entitled to get lawyers to defend them, and if they see places on the law, they're just doing their job. So they don't agree with you when you say the judiciary is deliberately impeding the fight against corruption. I know. I, I didn't say so. I didn't say so. <laughs> don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't misquote me. And what the instance he has given is inapplicable. That is a civil matter. We are talking about criminal uh, justice. You are not talking about uh, civil All justice, right. criminal justice. So it's, it's okay to stall matters in, in, in civil matters? What do, what do you call stalling? Uh, that's what if, if, the, if, 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 if somebody has taken the president to court and he is at liberty to brief a lawyer to defend him, he can take as many as 200 lawyers if he can, if he can afford it. So there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we shouldn't be petty. Uh, that is not uh, what I call stalling. If you um, uh, engage experienced lawyers to, to, to defend you or to, 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 to defend you, that is not stalling. We are saying, what we are saying is lawyers deliberately, you know, taking advantage or using their seniority at the bar to uh, intimidate judges, to grant them unnecessary adjournments, take advantage of the loopholes in the system. Uh -huh. Well, Mr. Okoye Obono Obla, we have to thank you for coming on Sunrise Daily. He is the special assistant to the president on prosecution and the Federal Ministry of Justice. Well, back to you now in Lagos. Thank you. All right, then. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, we'll uh, get a senior lawyer to respond to what Mr. Obla has said. So don't go away yet. <laughs>